Well, uh, let's get to our next management. Let's focus on Brigade Enterprises. Now, the company has entered into a sale deal for acquiring around six and a half acres of land in Chennai to develop a residential project. To understand more about this and then focus on other aspects, we're joined by Atul Goel, the CFO of Brigade Enterprises. Hi, Mr. Goel. Good morning. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. Well, give us a few details. What is the cost of acquisition out here? And give us some kind of details on the, uh, you know, the timeline of this launch, what kind of a project will it be, and sales potential. Uh, good morning. Uh, so, the, as you said in your introduction that it is a 6.5 acres land. So, it is a corporate land which we have bought and it is on the main OMR road. Uh, we already have a very, very big uh, uh, big development there with GIC, which is a World Trade Center uh, in Chennai. Uh, and we also have a residential attached to it. So, it's a very prime property. Uh, we have acquired it uh, uh, for 145 crores. And we expect around 1 million or so uh, development there, which will be mainly on the residential side. At what price, and Mr. Course, Goyal? Uh, it, yeah. At what price? So, I mean, a million square feet of saleable uh, area. At what price? Yeah. So, it's very difficult right now, but you can say around 10,000 is the minimum. But by the time we launch, it should be much more. So, around GDV will be in the range of 1,000 crores or so. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, any more land buys that you're looking at at the moment? And what is the areas, what are the geographies that you're looking to buy land at? What is the amount, the corpus that you have outlined for this? So, see, we are uh, looking for land and uh, as the sales are very good in uh, residential, we are looking, mm -hmm. we recently bought uh, uh, an auction in Hyderabad for 9.5 uh, acres or so, uh, which was uh, for overall 660 crores. So, we, uh, we are trying to uh, take land more in Bangalore, uh, Chennai and, uh, and Hyderabad to spread our, uh, our uh, basket so that uh, everywhere we can do the launches. Right now, the maximum launches and sales are from Bangalore. So, everywhere we are buying, uh, we, are, we are looking for land and trying to take good land. Overall, if you say we should do around 500 crores per year of uh, land acquisition, based on how the uh, market demand is there and how the sales go ahead uh, uh, in uh, coming quarters. Okay, so you already have a 340 acre land parcel in Bangalore currently, right? How much are you planning to grow right. it by? And what are the what's in the pipeline for, uh, say, the next 6 to 12 months in terms of new launches? Uh, so, in new launches, we are planning around 7.5 uh, million or so. Uh, yes, there has been some delay in approvals, but definitely... Uh, we are targeting around uh, 7 million or so launches. Uh, there can be some delays because there are some uh, launches from Chennai as well. So, uh, based on the approvals and the RERA approvals, we, we will try to launch uh, uh, that much. Uh, of course, uh, Bangalore will always be remain a mainstay for the company. We are going ahead and uh, doing more and more acquisitions um, uh, in the form of JDA or in the form of uh, in the form of uh, acquisitions, but uh, see, our prime focus today is Chennai and uh, and uh, Hyderabad because we want to uh, increase our focus in both these cities. Chennai already we are uh, we have uh, bought land of around 12.5 million or so. Uh, Hyderabad we have started, so focus is on all the three cities, and uh, Bangalore will always be a focus because it is a, it is a prime uh, focus uh, for the company. All right. Just one thing, Mr. Goel, in all these cities, three cities, could you clearly tell us how much is the saleable area that you're sitting on at this point? Uh, Chennai, so right Hyderabad now, and Bangalore? Yeah. Yeah, so right now in uh, in uh, Bangalore, it is around 33.3 million. Uh, in okay. uh, Chennai, it's 12.5 uh, million or so, and the rest is others. Of course, now Hyderabad will also... Uh, get added to it, uh, which will be in the range of 3.5 million of uh, of uh, development in Hyderabad. Hmm. All right, uh, Mr. Goel, you know, there have been a lot of NRI investments in the real estate market. Are you observing that sort of a trend as well in your projects? Yes, yeah, some NRI investments are definitely there, but I would not say that it has been a, uh, uh, it has been a uh, increased demand. Yes, demand is there. Uh, uh, Bangalore as a market, people like to settle uh, here because of the talent which is there. So, demand has increased, but I will not say to a very, very great extent. 
but you know i recently visited the city and i realized that there is not only rapid urbanization in bengaluru happening right now but there's also a big destruction of the green cover which is of course another issue altogether but i take your point that uh, you know the things are definitely picking up but that's on the residential side right tell us a little bit about the commercial side of things uh, the this time again commercial demand was a bit on the weaker side what is the occupancy like and what is the way forward for you see for us uh, the main uh, main uh, uh, commercial demand uh, and the commercial properties which we have are in scg and of course scg has been struggling all over the all over india non scg we have uh, we don't have any vacancy everything has been leased out so in scg yes there is an issue we have around 1.2 million uh, and of course this talk of recession in us has, which has never come so it is it is i don't know how the Uh, uh, companies have been delaying this, uh, delaying their decisions to buy to uh, rent uh, in these assets. But of course, we are looking lot of demand from the existing uh, existing uh, 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 clients because uh, a maximum of our clients are uh, global capability center CG, uh, and they they are looking for good expansion. And I think uh, we should be able to fill this 1.2 million in next four quarters. So, can you give us the numbers? I think in FY twenty three, your lease rentals were about seven hundred fifty odd crores. Where will it be like in the end of FY twenty four? And you have about eight and a half million square feet of operating commercial portfolio. Do you plan to grow this further? Just those two numbers, if you can help us with. Yeah. So, uh, so rentals should go in the range of eight fifty to nine hundred crores this year. That is what we estimate. Uh, and of course, uh, for uh, additions we have uh, one project which is called as twin towers where we have 1.3 million uh, square feet which is uh, which will get completed uh, next year and definitely it's a non scz maybe year end or quarter one of the next year so that is the main uh, lease lease area which will be launching in the market there is some uh, 1.3 million uh, development in uh, in uh, uh, whitefield also so that is also coming up but that will take time take time of at least 2 2 and a half years to come up okay uh, well uh, thanks very much uh, sir appreciate you joining in here on cnbc tv 18 the market's looking up and you're looking for Thank land uh, building it out and i mean uh, you know tapping into that uh, demand which is across cities looking very very robust well uh, thank you uh, for joining us we'll be around